Good morning, children. So today we'll go with the next part of the writing section, and that's descriptive essay. So let's begin. Before starting off with the descriptive essay, just take some time off and imagine about the subject. This means to imagine how the subject appeals to your senses. How does it looks like, and so on. further if the subject is related to a past experience think about how it felt or your experience with the subject next express all these on the paper right in front of you you can also take some time to think about how you want your essay to unfold means uh, to take place or to progress okay lastly a revision of the essay provides a great opportunity for improvements and small tweaks which means uh, if you revise at last your essay you will get the chance to improve your writing by making fine adjustments to it and remember that a descriptive essay is all about teasing the reader's senses now let's know something about the writing process The first step to write a descriptive essay is obviously selecting a topic. The topic doesn't necessarily have to be unique as long as you can uh, paint a vivid picture of it and give it life. I will get ahead of myself here a bit uh, to give a few things uh, to note when uh, writing each of these categories of descriptive essays. Now, at first, we'll know how to write a descriptive essay about a person. the subject of your descriptive essay can be your favorite person such as a family member it can also be a friend a neighbor or a famous person you could also describe yourself whichever person you write about should be someone that you know well as you write the essay remember to describe other aspects in addition to the physical characteristics otherwise your descriptive essay won't be considered good you know what you can include personality traits means like their qualities and features in your description in a creative way you will probably have to pick just a few traits to talk about in a uh, body paragraphs it is also possible to struggle with how to make a conclusion paragraph for this category of essays effective for the conclusion summarize to explain how complex or interesting the person is use it to explain your experience and uh, sentiments about interacting or living with that person next we'll know about a place places are a common subject for descriptive essays you could describe a place you love like uh, your bedroom your favorite classroom or your favorite store you could also go against the tide and choose less common places to write about it could be a real or imagined place uh, what's important is that you describe the place its surroundings and your emotions about it well now we'll know how to write about a memory you can base your essay on a vivid memory that you have this can be the most embarrassing moment your saddest or happiest memories a memorable trip or concert you attended and so on uh, search your memories and find one that you can vividly describe in your essay you know what you can write about common experiences also such as graduation you can however select other descriptive essay topics such as a frightening experience you had and provide descriptive details about what happened where when and how you felt don't forget to use your five senses you can also write about your first day in class regarding aspects such as the classroom the people and how you felt during the experience now when it comes to object for this type of descriptive essay any object can be the topic you can write about your couch if you believe you can portray the couch in a fascinating way and make the essay interesting 
If you are not confident about your ability to write a good descriptive essay on the common items before you, go for less orthodox uh, choices. Which means you can select the ordinary or uh, usual type objects. Like you can choose descriptive essay topics that are simple such as uh, painting, your favorite childhood toy, anything. Now let's have a look for the format of a descriptive essay. In the mid at first we'll write down the heading. After leaving a line we'll start with the introductory paragraph and then we have the body. The content will be there in this paragraph and at last we have the conclusion paragraph. So we'll sum up the topic in this uh, format whenever we write any descriptive essay. So children, I expect that now you all have understood how to write a descriptive essay. In case you find any doubt, you can go through the lesson as many times as you want and please don't forget to complete your assignment. Do practice, do write your essays, whatever the questions are there given uh, along with this lesson and uh, we'll meet again in our next lesson. So till then, take care and thank you all for watching.